Mm. Episode of eating fried chicken. <laughs> We're doing in this episode, we're actually taste testing three Malaysian fried chicken fast food chain. It's supposed to be smothered. But keep in mind here, we are in lockdown and quarantine, so we're only getting food delivery. So this one took a little while to arrive, but it still looks very crispy. Really impressed with that. It doesn't look like it has any moisture here. It looks more like your classic fried, uh, fast food fried chicken. They're all in different sizes. So this one today we're gonna start off with is the largest. It's actually the first uh, fast food chain that was franchised in Malaysia. It's called Mary Brown. So it was founded back in 1981 in Johor Bahru in Southern Peninsula, Malaysia, near Singapore. Oh gosh, they smell delicious oh. and I can't wait to eat this. Yeah, it looks great. So this is actually the largest of the three because they have locations in 20 countries, mostly in Asia and Middle East and a couple in Africa. So let's get down to it. Ooh, I already had a bite, <laughs> taste Cheating. of like crispy, Leftover. Wow. So at this spot, they have the option of getting kind of like the American style with the mashed potato and gravy and all that. We didn't want that. And the biscuit, we didn't want that. We want to get the local specialty. So they actually have the nasi lemak here too. Are you swapping out the regular for the script? <laughs> so the nasi lemak here, you have like this mound of rice. You have your ikan bilis and peanuts. You have your sambal. You have your cucumber. And they even give you papadum. And a chicken they give you is the classic chicken. So we got two orders. Spicy one. We have the regular one. We also got on the side two pieces of the spicy chicken. So the spicy one is called hot touch or hot touch. And the regular one is just the regular one. Two pieces of the hot touch. And then we have, this is the classic that arrived. Let's take a bite of the classic first. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Really crispy. Mmm. Mm. Really good. You ordered it like. A good half hour, 40 minutes yeah. ago. And it's still very crispy. Mmm. Wow. The meat's pretty juicy here. It's the thigh. I'm really most impressed with that crispy skin though. It's very good. You even saw a little spiciness to this one. So you know this is the normal. It's good. This rice really smells, I mean, it smells and tastes good. Oh, it smells coconutty. Like very a Nazi lemak should. Let's see. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Wow. Totally did not expect this out of a fast food chain here that this rice would be so flavorful and fragrant. Wow. When I saw nasi lemak, I'm like, oh, okay, maybe they'll just throw uh, some plain rice in there. No, not the case. This is really fragrant, good stuff. Mmm. This rice is excellent. Wow. I'm changing my rice game to putting lemongrass. Wow. Now let's try a little of that rice with the sambal. Mmm. Sambal's nice. Smoky. Has a nice little spicy kick, and it has that more of the fishy flavor in a good way. Really nice. The spicy does have a nice kick. The spicy chicken is good. You can even see there's like a little bit of reddish inside from the spices to give it that heat. Really good. I, the deficit between the two, I will go with the spicy as well. True. I uh, with the spicy out of the two. Really tasty. I say we're impressed here. Mmm. Wow. We rarely eat fast food. The only fast food we eat, we eat is Jollibee. <laughs> yeah, or occasionally Popeyes. Ironically, both have fried chicken, so of course you're gonna get fried chicken here in Malaysia. That's what we gotta say. You know, a lot of people say this, and we tend to agree, at least from our experiences, that the fast food overseas is much better than fast food in America, by far. I mean, look, this is a quality meal right here. If you were just to put this in front of us and not say it's from a fast food chain, we wouldn't have, we wouldn't know. You know, without the branding, without everything, they even talk about the, I like the little branding they have, you know, Malaysia's favorite. Impress of how it held up in that delivery. That's another thing. Like the two biggest shocks are the quality of this rice, the flavors, and how well this chicken is held up on delivery. Mary Brown, really good stuff. It's about fried chicken. Here with a local Kuala Lumpur born and bred chain. Only about four or five locations. Very local spot, local chain. I believe it started just as a hawker stall. Now there's multiple locations throughout. You know, there's in malls and other spots. I believe this one came from uh, Sunway Velocity Mall. 
Good for them. It's really good. It's called Limbs Fried Chicken. We found this one from our friends Puri and Sue, couple KL locals. They did a whole video on the spot. Check them out up here. We're gonna right. dig in. And what's nice right now on Grab Food, they actually have a deal that you can get three portions for the price of two. So that's what we got. Is that this pack comes with uh, two pieces of fried chicken, the dark meat, the good stuff. It comes with rice that's covered in curry. It comes with stir fried cabbage and it also has sambal. Very nice flavor on the chicken. <laughs> Slight saltiness to it, but just the right amount. It's nice and juicy. We ordered this for takeout. It's not as crispy, but taste is still there. Now the magic starts when you get into this rice. This rice has been covered with a curry. It's nice. Not just some plain rice to just throw you on the side. That curry, let's give it a shot. Mm. Mm. The flavor of that curry. It's got a little spice to it. You taste that cumin, you taste that lemongrass, all those flavors. It's so good. Cabbage, they stir fry it. So crispy. It has that wok flavor. Mm. And because we ordered this for our delivery, the cabbage is drenched with the sambal. And the sambal's a little on the sweeter side, which is nice because it kind of complements it. It's got a little spice, but it's on the sweeter side, so you have like the spicier curry. You have the slight saltiness in a fried chicken. And then you get that smoky wok hay flavor from the cabbage that's been stir fried. And then you get the sweetness of the sambal. So you have all those flavors combined. It's really nice. Onions in there too. I even see a, a little anchovy head here. So you mm -hmm. know it's got some of that dry fish. Just love how this whole package, this whole meal comes with everything here. Like mm -hmm. a lot of these deliveries they got, they don't even, you don't even get vegetables with it. This you get a nice portion of veggies to go with. I'm trying to add a little healthiness to your to your meal, there you go. Hey! So this spot we're checking out today is called Sugar Bun. So it is a Malaysian fried chicken chain that originated in Borneo back in 1979. And uh, it's got a funky name, Sugar Bun. The reason why is because it originally was a dessert shop before it expanded to the savory offering. Specialize in is broasted chicken. So what is broasted chicken? It's actually it's fried chicken, but it's been uh, fried in a pressure deep fryer. So it's supposed to make it juicier and more tender. That's the interesting about this place is that uh, they have more than just the roasted chicken. They have different seafood specialties as well. I also got fish, deep fried mackerel, mushroom chicken clay pot. So I got the platter here with, uh, supposedly it's a two piece, but we also got extra chicken too, because why not? Got it with, it's called, it's either the Kano sauce or Kano sauce. I'm gonna go with Kano, it spells K-A-N-O. I know. Or Kano. Sauce, Kano sauce, I don't know, it's spelled K-A-N-O. That's their special sauce. So we ordered its delivery, of course, with the current situation. So it's supposed to be smothered, but they actually give you the sauce on the side to pour on top, which is good. So the chicken doesn't get uh, soggy. Comes with a nice yellow rice that has raisins in it and bits of meat. Looks like there might be chicken in there as well. And they also give you a really nice uh, pickles on the side. Uh, it's cucumber, carrot, and also pineapple. Really interesting. Mm. Take a bite of this chicken. You know what? Let's take a bite of this chicken by itself first. We gotta try it on its own before we get into that sauce. So here's the drumstick. Mm. Very juicy. That's oh, really good. Wow. It's because it's not super crispy. You know, it might also be because of delivery. It's been a little while, but the flavor is quite nice on its own. Now we're gonna try this uh, chicken in the Kano or Kano sauce. Let's give it a go. Mmm. The sauce is just incredible. I made a big mess in my face, but who cares? But <laughs> the flavor of this sauce is awesome. So it's got a lot of lemongrass in here. It's got garlic. It seems like it's a tomato base. So think of it almost like a sambal, but without not as spicy, and without that more of a fishy flavor. This one you really taste that lemongrass, the ginger, the garlic, tomato. It's just such a wonderful flavor. So if you if you get sugar bun, order extra kano kano sauce. <laughs> We're still trying to figure out if it's kano or kano. Well, try some of that rice. Let's go with the hands. Why not? Mm. The rice is already very flavorful on its own. Then you add in those raisins and that little bits of meat in there. So it kind of reminds you of like a plof or a pilaf, like Uzbek plof with the sweet and savory combo. It's really good. 
I love how they add the pineapple in this, uh, these pickles on the side. It's so good. It has a little sweetness to go with the crunchy cucumber of the carrot. A little tangy. There's also a little bit of chili in here too for a slight spice. Borneo's got it going on with this chain, I have to say. And there are locations in other parts of the world. So Australia has Bangladesh. More of the world should have it though. This, this is really good. Yeah. Chill. Pineapple, cucumber, pickled cucumber, pineapple. It's more like achara. Achara is like pickled papaya. So there's a good amount of fried chicken chains out here in Malaysia. We've tried several so far. This is right up there on the list. We really enjoy this. We'll definitely order it again. And maybe one day when we make it to Borneo, Sarawak, we'll try it out there too. Why not? Why not? We all we know Sarawak and Borneo have a really good culinary scene from what we hear. And so we're not surprised at the quality of this sugar bun chain. It's good stuff. Never thought that we would film fried chicken chain. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> or we would make it as an episode. <laughs> well, quarantined and uh, move control order in Malaysia will do that to you. We'll make you do some things you never think you would do, right? <laughs> in the last month that I have here in Malaysia, it's the most fried chicken I've eaten in my life in that period of time. And that's beyond what we filmed in this video. We've eaten tons of fried chicken, whether it's in Nasi Lamak and other situations. Fried chicken in Malaysia is incredible. I think it's really one of the best places in the world for fried chicken for sure. So many varieties here. We had Lim's fried chicken. Lim's fried chicken. And then we had Mary Brown. And we also had sugar bun. Sugar bun. Fried chicken chain in Malaysia and they're all different in many ways. Um, we know that there's also other fried chicken uh, chains like KFC or Texas fried chicken, which is... Which is churches in the U.S. I know they're both very popular here. I'm not gonna review those. I have to keep it local as possible. As possible. When it comes to the juiciness... With sugar bun, they do the yeah. roasted chicken, so they do it in the, uh, the pressure cooker. That one's very juicy and I love the Kano sauce or Kano sauce, whatever they call it. It was so good with that lemongrass and that, that rice was really nice with the sweetness to it. Very different in those pickles, the pickle fruit and vegetable in there, really nice. Got limbs. Limbs, the limbs. chicken was quite tasty. Uh, the packaging was different out of the other two fried mm -hmm. chickens that we had. Yes. The vegetables, curry, oh, and the rice. God. It was good. Very so good. good. Yeah, that, the curry is really what took that to the next level. The chicken itself was quite good, but it wasn't the curry's on the rice. Yeah, it was not as crispy, wasn't... that one. Yeah, yeah that one crispy. arrived a little more moist. But it has flavor. It yes. has great flavors. And highly recommended. It was very delicious. And <laughs> brown really is the one that surprised me the most. I got to tell you, like, um, the fact that it was like the largest chain had me a little skeptical at first. Uh, my expectations were not so high just because it's a large chain. I don't know what to think, you know. Uh, coming from America with all these crazy fast food chains, you think, you know, big chains are not going to be great, but this was not the case here. Yeah, the packaging when we got it alone, the box was, was really nicely boxed. The, the rice was wrapped up separately. The ikan belis and the peanuts were in a separate little Ziploc bag, so they stayed crisp. I was so surprised how the box stayed intact. Like, it was just so crispy, and it get, it got to us 40 minutes later after we ordered it. And that skin was really uh, what stood out to me. The chicken was pretty juicy. Probably not as juicy as the other two, but still juicy in its own way. But that, that skin was... Oh. This kid was incredible. That rice just blew us away. We didn't we didn't have any expectations for that rice till it arrived and just the, it had that lamak flavor. Yeah. All I'm delicious their own way. Check them all out. Uh, and if you're a Malaysia local, tell us what's your favorite Malaysian fried chicken chain besides Texas or KFC. KFC. We'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching.